If you need to change a fuse on the battery 048 combiner box, the first thing you need to do is disconnect the Anderson connectors on all of the batteries and then turn off your PV breaker if you have this box or pull out the PV disconnect if you have one of the older boxes. That would be off. All these other breakers you can go ahead and turn off just to be safe. And then you would unplug all your batteries. From that point you'll have a socket with an extension and a 9 16 socket on it. Showing you on a demo here um, how this all kind of works. We have the bus bar on the bottom and then the fuse. Then we have the ring terminal. Then we have a washer and a lock washer and a nut. I remove the nut, remove the lock washer, remove the washer, remove the ring terminal to the battery, which it should be unplugged. Then you can remove the fuse. What you're left with is a bolt that's just sticking up. You'll notice there is a nylon sleeve on the bottom of that bolt. That keeps the bolt uh, insulated from the copper bus bar. So the bolt does not actually touch the bus bar at all. That allows uh, the current to flow from the battery through the fuse down onto the bus bar. So that's how that works in case that was a little confusing. You insert your new fuse, your battery ring terminal, washer, lock washer, nut. Make sure your fuse is oriented to the left so that you might be able to see that burned element. Make sure it's like all the other fuses. And you get your 9 16th socket wrench. And you'll tighten it. Now, because these fuses are made out of plastic and ceramic, uh, you don't want to over tighten them too much. But this is a current carrying connection and you do want to make sure that it's tight. The manufacturer recommends 75 inch pounds. If you have a torque wrench, then set it to 75 inch pounds. But because many of you are not going to have that, uh, I'll show you how to get close. This is a torque wrench and it's set to 75 inch pounds. But if I'm to grab the, we'll go ahead and loosen this one a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the wrench about an inch or two down from the head and the arm, my arm is out away from my body. I'm not putting my body weight down onto the wrench. I have my arm kind of 90 degrees extended from me holding near the head and I'm just using forearm and wrist muscles to tighten. And then right there, it's almost as much as I can do with my arm fully extended out in front of me to tighten that. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how tight to get those. They should be snug. These wires should not move at all, but you don't need to put your body weight on them because you can snap the fuse and break the holder that's there. 